It's truly amazing to see how far we've come, and faster than anyone would have imagined. Public opinion is changing, companies are listening, and we're achieving more victories than ever for all animals. Throughout all of PETA's work, the time for total animal liberation is now. We got that broccoli! Oh, broccoli! Broccoli! Ah. Activists are claiming a win tonight after a federal judge struck down a Utah law that bans filming in secret at farm or livestock facilities. The Quat Gras ban is back in place here in California. These PETA volunteers had a message. Meat comes from factory farms where animals live in terrible, cramped and filthy conditions. If a restaurant is serving animal parts and the tentacles are still squirming, we know those have been taken off of a live animal. Surely we can show sea animals compassion by leaving them in the ocean and off our plates. Whether it's owls, rats, or hippogriffs, be a hero for animals by going vegan today. Two ladies wearing lettuce bikinis. They're going to Cuba to promote animal rights by encouraging people to switch to a vegan diet. PETA said that cows in the dairy industry are forcibly impregnated and their calves are taken from them so humans can drink their milk instead. The new PETA billboard is turning heads on I-35 in downtown Dallas. That's a cow right in the middle of the bed. If anything can make men reach for a veggie burger, this is it. What am I, chopped liver? No, you're vegan chopped liver, made entirely of mushrooms. When people ask me what I eat, my answer is the same as you. There's so many substitutes now, vegan chicken wings, vegan everything. Being a vegan is more than just a diet, it's a whole lifestyle. Today, I'm getting my skin ripped off, just for you, PETA. 200 other companies have ended its sale of Angora wool items and it's under pressure from PETA. Gucci will stop using fur. Finally, the fashion world is catching up. The materials we use are superior. It really proves that there is absolutely no reason to use animals in fashion. No matter what standards are put in place or where a company purchases wool, the sheep will always suffer. Louis Vuitton has come into the crosshairs of PETA to convince the company to stop selling handbags made with the skins of exotic animals. Animals aren't machine parts. Animals are living beings. They don't belong as a profit analysis. Actress Maggie Q was picketing outside the headquarters of the Canada Goose Company over the use of animal fur in its jackets. PETA is investing in Canada Goose by becoming a shareholder. When we buy shares, it gives us the opportunity to get up and protest inside the boardroom. We're going to be back and we're going to keep coming until you shut this dog lab down. Ban the dog lab. PETA is demanding change for how dogs are treated at Texas A&M. Their mission is to get the university to stop performing muscular dystrophy experiments on golden retrievers. This shouldn't be happening to dogs. Please tell Texas A&M to stop these cruel experiments. PETA held a protest at Camp Pendleton today calling for a stop in inhumane military training. The best way to train individuals to treat combat injuries would be to use high-tech human simulators. We will move to a simulation. For us, it'll be the right thing to do to prepare our Coast Guard members who may be deployed where they may encounter traumatic injuries. Shame on Pitt! It's PETA versus the University of Pittsburgh all over whether animals used in research are being treated poorly. PETA says Liberty Research Inc. denied adequate care to animals at their facility. A PETA eyewitness investigation pulls back the curtain on the industry that could be supplying animals to a school near you. This is part of a larger ongoing effort within the scientific community to reduce and replace the use of live animals in tests and experiments. It's a noble goal. And I have a feeling that PETA will be very happy with this news. Nosy the elephant, she gave rides to adults and children even though she showed signs of crippling arthritis. Animal control officers sent Nosy to the sanctuary for endangered elephants in Tennessee. The greatest show on earth is now coming to an end. After 146 years, the iconic Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus will bring down the big top for the very last time. The elephants need to go to a proper sanctuary. While the clowns will be released into the woods. <laughs> The New York City Council voted to ban circuses from using wild animals. Please help stop this by refusing to buy a ticket to any circus that uses animals. Peter says, be on the lookout, putting everybody else on notice. Aquariums, anyone else who has these shows. SeaWorld has some work to do getting people back to its parks. Attendance is down and it won't get any better until they empty the tanks. We're set up on seven bridges across downtown LA. We've got banners and we've got inflatable orcas, one for each orca that SeaWorld 
has killed. Nothing that you see of Orca's life here is natural. They're in pain. We want SeaWorld to do the right thing and release the Orcas to a sanctuary. We're calling on everyone to urge the Miami Seaquarium to plan Lolita's free location to a coastal sanctuary. Federal officials have ordered Dade City's Wild Things to stop their swim with tigers encounters. World's most famous sled dog race loses a major backer. A movie was forced to cancel its premiere. That's after a clip went viral showing what appears to be an unwilling dog being forced into rushing water during the making of a dog's purpose. There are alternatives, of course, now using computer-generated imagery and mapping the actors' performances like we do in apes. People for the ethical treatment of animals filed a federal federal lawsuit where they requested that Tonka and 10 other chimpanzees be transferred from the Missouri Primate Foundation. I just hope that this campaign will get Tonka out of that awful place and that he'll be able to have the retirement that I thought he was going to have. Elsie and her two cubs had miserable lives at the Mobile Zoo. They paced so much that they wore pads in the dirt, a clear sign of distress. Sometimes they overheated, panting and salivating in the hot sun with no way to cool off. But then, after more than 20 years in captivity, the bears were rescued and the Mobile Zoo was closed down. Thanks to PETA and the Wild Animal Sanctuary, the bears took their first steps into their brand new lives. Now, Elsie's family has a huge habitat with climate-controlled underground dens. Bringing the total to over 60 bears that PETA has helped rescue from roadside zoos across the country. If you take the big step of adopting a pet, taking the big responsibility of having that life depending on you. It's extremely important to spay and neuter your cat or your dog. We're extremely overpopulated with cats, with dogs. And if you see a chained dog, please speak up, because if not you, than who? They are living, breathing things with feelings and needs. I know, you want to stay out with everybody, don't you? PETA is searching for abandoned pets in Port Arthur, Texas, one of the hardest hit areas by Hurricane Harvey. With the crisis in Puerto Rico, rescue teams are once again being called back into action. For the past several weeks, PETA's animal rescue team has been in areas of Puerto Rico left devastated by Hurricane Maria. 63 dogs and cats arrived here at the PETA headquarters. They are now looking for forever homes, thanks to members of PETA's rescue team. We will never turn our back on an animal in need. We're going to do everything we can to help those animals. Times change only due to agitation, so we must agitate. We need to burst the human superiority bubble. The other animals are as deserving of consideration as human beings. No matter how different we may look, we are all in this together. Our task must be to break free from prejudice and to see ourselves in everyone else.